Welcome to a Famous Names video. Thank you for taking the time to join us. For this video, let's take a look at Boost application. You begin by doing a natural nail manicure. You can choose to do a dry manicure or use your favorite cuticle removal product. Begin by lifting and separating the cuticle from the natural nail. For this video, we're going to do a dry manicure. We've sped this up to save you time watching. We are lifting and separating using a cuticle pusher. As you can see, we've chosen to do a dry manicure. After lifting and separating the cuticle with the pusher, we're going around the edges, doing a complete meticulous manicure with a curette to take that extra cuticle out of the corners and the sidewalls. Then doing some detailing with a sharp nipper, making sure that we don't need to pinch and tug because the nippers are nice and sharp. Then doing some shaping with a 240 grit file to make sure that the edge of the nail is nicely sealed and not shredded. Once you are satisfied with your shaping, you are ready to move into the boost application. Just be sure when you do your shaping that you make sure you have not left any fringy bits or excess particles of your file under the nail as those will get caught in the boost. One of the most exciting things about boost is there is no buffing of the natural nail. It just needs to be prepped with cuticle work and shaping. Now that you've done that natural nail manicure, you're ready to use sanitize and scrub the natural nail. This is going to be your cleanser. Really get in there and scrub that nail clean. Make sure you're pulling your sidewalls back and getting underneath that nail down in the sides and all the way back to that proximal nail fold. The entire nail surface needs to be cleaned really well. And you'll notice these nails are an amazing candidate for boost. These are gardener's nails. So they peel, they're stained, they've got ridges. They're absolutely brilliant for boost. This is the perfect client. We're ready to move into Boost Base Coat once we've applied Sanitize. To pull your brush out of the base coat without having it dripping down the wand, you can twirl the wand around the neck of the bottle to remove the excess. Then brush your brush along the neck to make sure you've pulled all the excess off because we literally want to scrub the base coat onto the nail to get it as thin as possible. Seal the edge of the nail so that you have the base coat sealed onto the edge. Then scrub the base coat into the surface of the nail plate. Make sure you're getting it as close to the proximal nail fold as you can without actually touching the skin. Also make sure you're coming really close down the sidewalls also without touching the skin. You really want to get that base coat nice and thin yet not touch the skin. Make sure if you have any excess come down the brush at all that you go ahead and wipe it off in the neck of the bottle. And don't be afraid to go back and pull any excess off the nail if it feels like you see any. If you should happen to have a shorter nail, and obviously this nail isn't short, we're just going to pretend, Flip the brush around and scrub it along the edge of the nail. This is also really helpful if the nail is peeling. If you should happen to have a bulge of skin at the end of the nail, you can also press that down with your thumb and turn the nail, the brush around to scrub the edge of that nail. Then go ahead and use that same scrubbing technique with the brush to scrub that base coat into the surface of the nail making sure you get that nice, thin, thin application of the base coat onto that nail. Once you're finished applying your Boost base coat to the nail, you're going to slide that into your UV or LED lamp and cure for one minute in your LED lamp, two minutes in your UV lamp. Ideally, we're using an LED these are a few parameters for your LED lamp that you're using. I'm gonna give you the opportunity to read this 
for yourself and kind of take notes. If you need to, go ahead and pause the video at this time to take notes on this. These are just a few important parameters when it comes to curing the boost. Boost has been created to be used in the current professional lamps on the market so that you did not have to purchase a separate lamp in order to use Boost. Kind of think of Boost as a wingman for the other products that you're using. It can go under gel polish and other gels. Now we're ready to actually apply Boost itself. You can use your favorite gel brush. It's really helpful when you open a brand new bottle of Boost to use the little foil that you pull off the top to work some Boost into your gel brush if you're using a brand new gel brush. By working the gel into your brand new brush, you're working the air out of the brush. This is only necessary if your gel brush is brand new or if you've been using another product in your brush and you're cleaning, you've cleaned your brush out with some alcohol and you're working some Boost into your brush to clean and get the Boost in your brush. Scoop up a tiny amount of boost. You really don't need much to cover the nail. Seal the edge of the nail with your boost. And then apply the boost over the nail in a nice thin layer. Think of the application like gel polish, how you apply your gel polish nice and thin you just happen to be using a gel brush to get your thin application versus a polish brush. So you're still picking up that tiny amount on the end of your gel brush, sealing the edge just like you would if you were applying gel polish, and putting that nice thin layer on. We're going to apply two thin layers of Boost just like we would apply two thin layers of gel polish because this is going to give you a more optimal cure. As you can see, it's nice and thin. And we're going to slide that into our lamp and give it a cure. The beautiful thing about Boost is it's been designed with several different types of photo initiator, which is what gives it a more balanced cure, regardless of the lamp that you're using. It also makes it less likely to have heat spikes, which is great news for your clients. Let's put on that second thin layer of boost. Having two thin layers also makes it less likely to have heat spikes, as well as it making it more likely to completely cure in a wider variety of lamps because it's nice and thin. The intention was to give you more options without causing you more expense. Boost is a wonderful product if you have a gel polish and you want to use it on a client that has maybe a little bit thinner, weaker nail and you don't want to have to buff their nails to apply their gel polish, you could apply Boost under that gel polish to eliminate that buffing step. Or if you want to use a hard gel on them and you don't want to have to buff their nails, you could use Boost to eliminate that buffing step. Now we've applied that second layer of Boost and we're ready to cure. Look how thin that is. You really can't even tell it's there. It's so thin. It's just like gel polish in terms of thickness, if not a little thinner. And it's really smoothing out that nail plate. The cool thing about Boost is you can choose your own adventure. At this point, you could do a little bit of buffing if it's not perfectly smooth. You could choose to apply the Boost High Shine Top Coat, or you could choose to apply a hard gel, a gel polish, etc. Let's see what it looks like with a high shine top coat and apply the boost top coat. Seal the edge and apply the high shine boost top coat. 
This would be great for your nurses or your teachers that really aren't supposed to wear color at some locations and they just want a nice protective layer on their nails. It gives them a little bit of strength. It gives them a beautiful shine. And as you can see, our gardener has gone from her poor ridgy nails to these beautiful, shiny, smooth nails. If you have a little bit of excess, you can clean your brush off really, really well and go in there and smooth off any excess that you see. We want all the layers of the boost to be nice and thin, even the top coat. And it will level itself out nicely and we can slide that in the lamp and give it a cure. And all the layers of Boost are going to cure on that one minute. Or that gel cure. See how it self levels? And then it's going to come out. We're going to clean it off with our IPA or alcohol. And then apply some daddy oil and as you massage in the daddy oil it's a great time to talk to your client about the benefits of daddy oil and using it at home for home care especially our gardener if we're talking to her about using the daddy oil at home on her nails so that she can have some help with her hangnails and that dry skin that she's going to get from being in the garden all the time. She's the perfect candidate for Boost and for Daddy Oil. Doesn't that look fantastic? Such a huge change. We hope this helped give you an idea on the application of Boost, and we would love for you to join us for future videos. Please find us on Instagram and Facebook, and definitely click to subscribe and be notified as soon as future tutorials hit our, face, our YouTube page. Thanks again for taking the time to view this video. We've enjoyed having you along.